When a show goes for, you know, four or five, five plus years, years, it's uh, family. It's family. One of the most special things of Thundermans for me was that it was a stunt show and that we got to play superheroes. Yeah! Oh. yeah. <laughs> Whatever's going on here, can it not happen on my sleeping bag? I think the pinnacle of the stunts was either kicking you in the head. Definitely getting kicked in the head. <laughs> <laughs> And then there was one episode where I got to do a really cool backflip. The best part about playing Phoebe at the beginning was that she was basically just a bigger version of myself. So I got to really use all of like my weird little quirks, most of which I had been teased for at some point, and like they became the parts of this character that made her fun and funny and weird. Oyster is a bad boy. He's a rocker, he sweats poetry and shreds like a six-arm mutant. So, I sweat, I shred. My favorite thing was that they let her grow up with me. You know, Phoebe started out as this very high energy, very nerdy, very type A character. And as I got older and more comfortable in my skin, she got older and more comfortable in her skin and a little more sarcastic and a little bit more just confident. Did it work? Are we in 1955? It smells like hair grease and milkshakes, so I'm gonna say yes. One thing that fans might be surprised to hear, uh, I wasn't originally part of the show. No, there was originally an older brother character who was a lot older. And he was still evil, but it made the show a lot different when, when it changed to twins. The and... twins thing, it works better. Good morning, guys. Phoebe. That wasn't me. Okay, now you're just gross. Did you change my ringtone? <laughs> they tried to give Phoebe a catchphrase of sweet cheese for a minute. Who do you have a crush on? I don't know, there's no one really special. Cole Campbell? Sweet cheese, yes! <laughs> I hated it, and I was like, cool, I have a catch. I'm sorry, it's what? I really tried to make it work, and I think after like two or three episodes, they were like, yeah, you're right, that doesn't feel natural. One of my favorite Phoebe joke moments ever, when I had to take a bite of a brownie and then smile, and I went for it, and it's just like brownie, just full on television. Hi! I mean, yo, I mean, hey. Here, Phoebe, have a brownie. Uh, what she was trying to say is welcome to our home, Oyster. The coolest part of the whole Thunderman's experience was Phoebe and Max learned from each other in the same way that Kira and Jack learned from each other. You know, the first two seasons, I was really focused on being evil and world domination. Season three, He's kind of faced with this uh, this defining moment of, of turning good. Max pulled Phoebe into the like, come on, like have a little bit of fun and like break the rules every now and then. Why are you down here, Phoebe? And why are you holding my brain mouth 3000? <sighs> no reason. I mean, it's not like you could tweak it to make mom and dad remember what it's like to be teenagers so we could go to that party. <laughs> Come on, Phoebe, that'll never, wait, I can do that. Yeah. I, I think I had the most fun the last year. Comfortable is a good word to describe that too. Yeah. Cause the whole series, from the moment we started until the fourth season, it was always like, are we gonna get to do more of this? We're just Once we hit season four, yeah, we knew. We were like, this is what we've got in front of us. Let's just enjoy every moment of it. We've known each other so long since we were 12 and 13 and then booked the show when we were 14 and 15. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, it was a big uh, closing chapter. I remember before I left the lot, I went over to our extra stage, stage 26, which is where all the big sp sets like Splatburger live, and it was completely emptied out. And I just kind of like stood there and I had, you know that sitcom moment when like the family like moves out of their house and the lead character before they leave is like, one last look at the living room. <laughs> oh, good times, and leaves. Like I had that moment. The last words that we said oh, yeah. as Max and Phoebe were, he says, congratulations, Phoebe, and I say, congratulations, Max, because like we did something we wanted to do. Perfect. For the final take, we decided to do uh, congratulations, Kira, congratulations, Jack. Congratulations, Jack. Congratulations, Kira. She couldn't even say it. <laughs> Tears. Yeah. What am I gonna miss most about the Thundermans? So many things. I'm gonna miss being Max. I'm gonna miss getting those lines and, and making those punch lines. Cause and... you are Max. <laughs> That's your disguise bag? No. <laughs> Actually, it says disguise bag. <laughs> Cause it belongs to this guy. <laughs> and that's a wrap.
Nick, 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 Nick,